Yay. So, this is a real phone case to get. I stump for the Redmi Note 9S in the US and then Pro. Um, otherwise, other way. This will require a little bit of manual fitting, but like, it's worth it because like that other one had like a huge area of it exposed. I might buy another one, I really also might not. Because I already, this is a LG K51. It's not an actual OtterBox, again, like the other one. Um, they're making these now without like this, um, the headphone jack, the power cord, the the thing, it's all there, you know, you might need to get a, um, what's this, um, engraver tool, or, well, I, yeah, like a cheap engraver now, like, like, it goes, it goes worth saying to, what's that, so these are only eight dollars, and I stumbled upon a, well, I could get it right now. It's a LG K51, and the screen was broken. I replaced the screen. It had a, it had a, oh yeah. But I tore apart the battery. I, I tore apart the battery, and it made it, made it not worth rebuilding. But it had an otter box on it, a rubber one, and it fit. It was a commuter style otter box. That's why it's not on still. And because the uh, rubber was soft, being a two-layer um, case, not the kind of two-layer I like. I put some Flex Seal and sprayable rubber from Amazon on it, and it uh, it melted off at work. So like, and got on things in a way that irritate well, would irritate people. They didn't notice or care. But this this is like the one on Amazon that is this color might still have that. That's why I've been hesitating to buy any of the new ones. I need to save that six dollars myself. But you can see, uh, well, you need to grind the areas that make contact, okay, with the buttons and then also the rubber. Uh, here's what the rubber looks like. You need to get an engraver and catch it. Catch it and put a relief in it so that it doesn't press other buttons when you press it and it's really nice because you can can use the headphones you can use the speaker you will need to grind out with a engraver a hole for the speaker well for the where you speak through but it's got a nice you know you will need to also like indicate like the centermost part and grind however much off the width the half of the width on each side of the well where the camera would be of the width of the centermost part of the for about like a tenth of an inch and of course I ground too much more but this won't have an actual rubber inlay of where it makes contact with the phone so you can put like a piece of paper or maybe you could put you know some money or something in there keep it from shaking around because otherwise it would or you could put you know a family photo or something but everything everything look see um the i can't really can't really volume down so much but I can activate volume good enough to like do what I want with my thumb and you know um, it feels good to have something that resembles a otter box in a way that like the the camera isn't like ridiculously off um, yeah it's LG K51 I think maybe because these show like, let's see, these show like another model, maybe LG Q51 might also work. Let's see what that looks like. 
Does that have a screen? No. Let's look at the LG Q51. Q51. Let's see what those look like. And then let's verse it. K51. No. <laughs> Q. K. K51. If there's a dimensional. What's the difference? Was there a size difference? Oh, looks like one's $200 less. Um, but we can go probably to dimension thickness and width and height. Okay, so look, this one, um, the LG Q51 is 0.64 millimeters high, which actually might be the same height as the, um, well, we're talking LG Q51. Let's, uh, look at the height. Let's copy this right now. Yeah, screen size 6.5, that's cool. Whatever. Um, in millimeters. And go on to, yeah, where we go. Um, there we go. Let's look up uh, Redmi Note 9 S. Uh, length. Fuck. 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 This phone will turn on you. It's 65, 165.8. And, um,. The LG Q is 164.5. What was it? Oh my god. So 165.8 versus um, 1645. 64.5. So let's also look at 166.9 would be the LG K51. 1.66. So. The, the fucking, uh, Redmi Note 9 S is, um, is, um, is a millimeter longer than LG Q51. But LG K51 would be, so there's a length difference. I have in this phone a LG uh, K51 case so it fits fine so and it's not because I'm charging well, you won't hear anything okay you will hear something so hey look I might need to get the LG K you know, Q51 what is it it's smaller and fuck let's see smaller bio Point like a whole millimeter and point four and no smaller by one point five or something. Yeah, that could be cool. I could try that out. But anyways, it's still serviceable and I'm not really bothered at all and the difference would be you have to grind a little vertically on each side and it might not let's see well it probably totally would work out because there's a rubber anyhow but but this works fine LG Q51 or LG well LG K51 is what I'm using on this but LG Q51 might be more promising in that respect Widths. LG Q51 is a little narrower. You could say that if we compare dimensions of width, 7 point, well, we're really cutting hairs here, but 7 point. Uh, then we go forward again. They were talking about in millimeters, it's 76.7, or no, 8.8 .8 millimeters wide. Is it really? 8.8 .8 millimeters wide. And this is 7.7? .7? Oh! 
thickness. Eight point. Oh, okay, so they're both the same width uh, thickness. This one is thinner. So this should actually, the LG Q51, though the LG K51 works, but uh, I will tell you right now, LG Q51 would fit this phone a little better, and I might actually get one of those if I can be bothered dicking around with another phone case, but, you know, it doesn't look bad, it doesn't give a bad impression. It's got like, a, you know, there's, there's limited otter boxes for this kind of phone, and these are the real options, I'm telling you. Way better than the other one, the Samsung whatever the hell it was.